Hello, my name is Kevin, and today I'm going to show you how to remove a spare tire and use it to replace a flat tire on your 2015 Toyota Sienna. Let's get started. So we're going to go ahead and start in the rear of the vehicle where most of the equipment is located. You have this little pull tab right here. Just pull on that and the side panel will come out nice and easy. We'll go ahead and start with the extension arm that has a hook on the end of it. It's this long piece here. Um, next to that you have the socket with an eyelid on the top. Those two will be used together to lower the spare tire. Next you have the strap which is used to secure the flat tire in the back of the vehicle and last the instruction manual here as well. Now still in the vehicle you have your jack which is going to take a little bit of muscle to get out. It's in there pretty secure and next to the jack is your tire iron. That's going to be used to loosen and tighten the lug nuts on your tire as well. We'll go ahead and take all that out. So we have all of the equipment out of the vehicle. We'll just do a quick recap. There's your jack right there, the biggest um, piece on, on the ground there. And then next to that is your tire iron, which you'll use to loosen and tighten your lug nuts. Next to the tire iron is your extension arm with the hook on the end. And that will be used with the socket um, with an eyelid on it uh, to lower your spare tire off of the bottom of the Sienna. Um, and so those are kind of one package together. Those will be used together. Um, and then the tire iron is separate from that. Um, and then you also use the extension arm with the jack to raise the jack up underneath the vehicle. And we'll show you that in a little bit. Now we're going to go ahead and lower your spare tire. To do that, you will need your extension arm as well as your socket. We're going to go ahead and move back the captain chair on the passenger side of the vehicle to expose this little cutout in your carpet. Now you may have to move your floor mats out of the way to be able to see this cutout, but once you make it visible, you're going to go ahead and just peel back the carpeting and the insulation. While you have that held back, we're going to go ahead and take our socket and place it right on top of the bolt head. It should be a nice snug fit because it is the correct size. Go ahead and take your extension arm with the hook end and go ahead and just attach it right to that socket. This is going to allow you to use the extension arm to lower the spare tire. We're going to just rotate it nice and easy. Remember to always rotate in a counterclockwise direction or lefty-loosey if you prefer. And we're going to go ahead and rotate until it actually stops rotating. As you're rotating down, this is what it's going to look like underneath your vehicle. Now this is sped up a little bit. It will not actually lower this fast. But it just shows you that you will need all the slack in the line. Uh, it's not just till the tire touches the ground but you will need the slack in the line as well. Now once we have the tire um, on the ground, we're going to go ahead and just pull that out using the slack that's in the line. I'm going to tilt the tire up here so you can see the little lock that's on the end. All you have to do is take that lock that's right there and turn it sideways and feed it back through the spare tire. This will allow you to then use the spare tire obviously on the outside of your vehicle. Um, but you do have to turn it sideways punch it back through like that and then you're all ready to go to use the spare tire. So on the Toyota Sienna we do have five lug nuts. We're going to go ahead and loosen all five of these lug nuts just a simple half a turn before we jack up the vehicle. So you're going to take your tire iron and it doesn't matter in which order you loosen the, the lug nuts. You just simply go around and loosen each one half a turn and they should be tight obviously so it does take a little bit of muscle to go ahead and loosen those. Now that we have them loosened, we're going to go ahead and be ready to jack up our vehicle. This is the jack that came with the Sienna, and we're going to go ahead and show you how to raise up the jack. So there's this little loop on the end of the jack, and you're actually going to use the same extension arm that you used to lower the spare tire. You simply just take the hook end of the extension arm and place it through that loop. And now when you rotate the extension arm, it's going to go ahead and raise the jack up. So now I'll show you where to place the jack underneath your Sienna. Now I'm going to show you where to place your jack when you're raising your Sienna. You're going to go ahead and notice this tire right there. That's the rear tire that we just loosened the lug nuts on. You can see the mud flap. Notice this little tang of metal that sticks down from the frame. This little tang of metal is what the jack is going to be sitting on. You'll notice these two indents right there in the tang of metal that, that show where the jack needs to be sitting. So this tang of metal is actually going to fit inside this little slit that's within the jack. So you place your jack in a position to where the loop on the end of the jack is facing outward so you can use the extension arm to raise the jack. And the jack will be raised right up on that tang. 
The jack has now been raised up against the vehicle. And now to raise your vehicle, you're going to go ahead and take the hook end of your extension arm. Just place it in that little loop and go ahead and rotate clockwise to go ahead and lift the vehicle up. You can see the vehicle is raising up. And now we'll go ahead and look at it from a side profile. You can see the tire raising up and you just need some daylight under that tire and you're good to go. So now you can see our jack is right there and our tire freely spins because it's high enough off the ground. Now since we loosen these lug nuts they should be pretty easy to take off and you can go ahead and just loosen them by hand. I went ahead and sped this up a little bit. Once you have all the lug nuts loosened off the tire, you're going to go ahead and be able to remove that flat tire. Now our spare tire is ready to go ahead and be put on. You want to make sure you're putting your spare tire on in the right direction, which means the fill nipple for the spare tire is supposed to be facing outward. That way if you were to need to fill your spare tire, you are able to do so, even though the spare tire should already be filled. So we'll go ahead and put the spare tire right on those studs. It may take a little bit of working. Once you have the spare tire on there, you're going to use the same five lug nuts that came off your other tire and go ahead and fit them right on the spare. Now to tighten them up, you do want to use a star pattern. And so you don't go in a complete circle, but instead you go in a star. So you're going to use your tire iron to tighten them up as tight as they can go. And then we're going to go ahead and lower the vehicle. making sure that the tire is now touching the ground so you have some traction and you can get some force. Now you're going to go want to go around first and just lightly tighten each lug nut in a star pattern, making sure you're not going in a circle but rather a star. So skipping one lug nut every time. And then you go around a second time and apply quite a bit of force to those lug nuts. So that is how you change a tire on your 2015 Toyota Sienna. From Metro Toyota, I'm Kevin. To look at other how-to videos, please check out our video page. I hope you enjoyed this video, and like always, have a good day.